Right, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, on today's episode we're going to have a go at making some smash burgers. Uh, now we haven't done this before. Um, so we've got the uh, premium flat iron, flat iron grill there, all, uh, all seasoned up ready to go. Uh, and we've got some butcher's pickles, we've got some nice blue hog um, champion blend barbecue sauce. Some um, not premium grade, just some um, low grade mint with a nice, uh, hopefully a nice range of, um, of fat through it. Some onions, some brioche buns, and some nice um, jalapeno cheddar cheese. I'm gonna have a bit of a. So I'll uh, have, add a little bit of spice to it. So the idea is we'll uh, just do some the burgers cheese, onions, pickles, and then the sauce, um, and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap it all up. So what I'll do is I'll um, make up the um, mince into 100 gram, 110 gram balls, which should give me uh, a nice um, a nice round patty to fit the, um, the brioche buns. So on that note, let's, um, let's get a bit of prep work done, and then we'll come back to uh, start cooking. Okay, so we've got a couple of onions here and we're just going to slice them up to half rings. Oh, just going to took my fingers off. Just going to roughly chop them, I'm not too fussed. Last of the onions we're cutting them up, just trying to keep them in in half half rings. I don't want to dice them up too much. And then I think the next thing that we'll do is probably make our little, our little uh, meat, meatballs or patties. And I'll go about 110 grams with each one and with a bit of luck it should just give us a nice size patty to fit um, to fit the buns. Alright, okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and aim for about 110 grams per, per patty. So we've got our little set of scales there, zoomed, zeroed. Oops, that's too much. I'll have to take a bit of that out. First couple are probably going to be just guessing. So, uh, hopefully, the 110 will. No, it's 97. No, well, not going to be too precise. Good enough. That's good enough. Just roll them up, pop them over on there. Hopefully, they'll stay together. So we've got the 50. Now, Hopefully we'll get, I should get quite a few out of this. So we may end up cooking them all up and then we'll probably keep some for, for later. Keep doing this until we've got them all ready. So we we might just come back when we've got them got them all um all made up I think. Okay, well we've got all our meatballs done up so now we're just gonna start to start to cook so we'll get our onions on and get them get them searing so they're all broke down. Now the beauty of this unit is I can have different cooking zones. So I've got where the onions are, I've got them set. I've got that set on low so it doesn't cook too quick. Whereas the 
the burgers will probably, because we're going to smash them or press them, they will probably be real quick. So I don't want this to dry out too much. I might give it a little shot of veggie oil, I think. these caramelized. Alright so we've got some we've got our brioche buns we've sliced them up and now we're just going to pop them on the plate to um, brown them up a bit. I don't want to do it too too brown just a lightly a light toast so we'll get a few of them on a few of them on for now and I'll just have to keep my eye on them. Now they shouldn't take too long to to brown up. As I say, we've got the heat down reasonably low. So. And these are, seem to be caramelising quite nicely. I probably wouldn't want to leave them much longer before I start cooking the patties and whatnot, then we can throw them straight on. Nice little golden brown. I didn't bother putting any, you won't need any butter or anything on them because um, they're already sweetened with um, some butter through it and made with it, so they should be nice. Alrighty, let's go. So I've got them ready now. This is probably could be quite quick. So, cook at all. Alright, let's turn these. Here we go, get them nice and crystallised. Put them over. Bun okay, one on top, one under, and on the bun. Alright, okay, so across some onions, Ooh, might have a bit too much there, so. A few onions on top. Oh, a bit more than that, I think. <laughs> and some pickles. <laughs> oh, the little borders don't want to. It's probably just the first one, so. Oh. drizzle of nice barbecue sauce and let that settle through for a few seconds and then pop the top on give them a little squeeze and there's our first one so we'll go through and we'll do another one shortly and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up and then I'll cook up cook up the rest of them 
a bit later. Right. Okay, so we'll do one more. Come on. Give them a little press. Lane's magic dust, seasoning that I'm using. So I'm give it a little bit of um, a little bit of spice. Right. And then have a little bit of cook. Nice little cheese. For me, it just um, melts the cheese reasonably quick. Don't on me. Right, on top, and under. Now we've just got a bit of um, wax paper here so that it don't stick. I think. Oh. I don't want to go too heavy handed with it, I suppose. So. As I say, first time we've done it, so. Probably quicker than probably could have pressed them down a little bit more, but still, never mind. Right over now, turn these.
And there's one more. Alright folks, so that's just about the gist of what I was doing, um, or what I was going to do. So we've got three made up, we've still got a few more to do. So um, what we'll do is we'll finish these off, um, and then we will come back and we'll wind up the wind up the, the cook. So we'll be back shortly. Okay folks, well, we're all cooked up. We uh, put, um, put the first couple through its paces and we added them all to the video, so we've cooked the rest of them. Basically what we've got is uh, some brioche buns and we've got a nice um, patty in there, pressed, smashed, uh, two on each, some um, jalapeno cheese, which is the equivalent to pepper jack, which I couldn't quite get hold of, but there's some cheese, um, there's a nice fried onions, some pickles, and then some nice blue hog champion blend barbecue sauce. So we will let these cool uh, before we wrap them up. And um, we'll probably take some in for lunch tomorrow. So on that note, um, to all my subscribers, thank you for watching. Um, and if you like what you see, just hit the um, hit the like button um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and just if in case you haven't noticed, I have changed the name of the um, of the channel to Barbecues Smokers at Under My Patio. So you may come up as a uh, a different uh, a different title but it is me and it's the same channel um, and they all look very much yummy to me I don't know about you guys but um, to all those thank you for watching